Hudson Fashing leads Minnesota in scoring as the Gophers get set for a weekend trip to Ohio State. The junior forward assistant captain kind enough to join us now for the Hockey Report. Hudson, as you get set to make the trip to Columbus, you're coming off a weekend series at home against Penn State in which you guys earned a split. What do you take away from those two games? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we felt pretty good about the first night. Uh, you know, we thought we played pretty well in general. Uh, you know, we were working hard and making plays. And then, uh, you know, that second game, they, they got a good jump on us. You know, they were playing with uh, a vengeance, and, you know, they came out they came out strong. And uh, so I guess the biggest takeaway coming from that game is just, you know, being able to play, you know, right from the puck drop, uh, full 60 minutes. Uh, you know, we made a big push in the second. And then, uh, you know, as the third came, uh, you know, we just couldn't, we couldn't finish it out. So I think it's just playing a full 60 is one of the things we really want to focus on coming into this weekend. Obviously, that Friday night win was a great bounce back for you guys after the previous weekend saw you lose both games in the North Star College Cup. As a native Minnesotan, how tough was that, especially when you consider how many guys you know on the other teams involved in that tournament? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's been, you know, a lot of, a lot of different, you know, coverage of you know, us and, you know, our, our play against other Minnesota teams. And, you know, it's tough. It's, it's really not fun. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of pride in our state. And, you know, there's a lot of rivalries between, obviously, like you said, guys, you know, I've grown up playing with and against. And, you know, some of them are some of my good buddies. And <laughs> to have that hanging over your head is not fun. You know, we really didn't, uh, we weren't too happy about that weekend. And so we really wanted to bounce back uh, on this uh, against Penn State. And we want to, you know, make sure we, we play strong uh, down the stretch here. I know you guys try not to pay too much attention to it, but I'm sure you're aware of some of the outside criticism, some fair, some unwarranted, that you guys have gotten since you made the national championship game of a couple of years ago. But I want to hear it from you, from a guy who grew up in this state, who knows what gopher hockey is all about. What does it mean to the players on this team to be wearing that sweater and to represent the University of Minnesota? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've been a Gopher fan my entire life. Uh, you know, I, I grew up watching, you know, Friday, Saturday nights. You know, I was, I was, uh, you know, the Wild weren't really around, you know, when I was, like, really young. And so I always, I grew up, uh, a Gopher, you know, the Gophers were my team. And, uh, you know, being able to represent that team is huge for me. And it's huge for a lot of the guys in this team. And, uh, you know, it's, it's disappointing, you know, when you come into the locker room after a loss. It, you know, it's hard to swallow sometimes knowing you kind of, you know, you let your, you know, the state down in a way. You know, it's kind of the, the burden we sometimes put on our shoulders. So, uh, you know, it's tough. You know, it's not something, you know, you know we, we like when we lose. And, you know, when we win, we feel really proud. So it's, it's definitely an emotional swing, you know, on both ends of the stick. You've already set a personal career high with 16 goals this season. You knew you would have to be more aggressive with some of the offensive firepower you guys lost from the last couple of seasons. What changes did you make to your game, whether it was mentally or whether it was physically heading into this year? Yeah, uh, I think there was uh, you know, a couple a couple things. Uh, the, the one mentally, I guess, that I would focus on is just kind of the confidence and like you said, kind of the aggressiveness. Um, you know, <laughs> just trying to make plays, you know, being confident, you know, uh, you know, make a little bit more of a risky play and, you know, try to make, make that play happen. You know, if I'm trying to, you know, beat a defenseman one-on-one -on -one or, you know, maybe I'm trying to take a shot I wouldn't normally take. Uh, and that was kind of the other thing was just shooting more often, you know, working on my shot in the off season and making sure that, uh, you know, I'm taking as many opportunities as I can to, to shoot the puck and, you know, get as many uh, opportunities as I can and, you know, just try to help the team. With just three seniors on this roster, considering the fact that you wear an A on your sweater, what is your responsibility in terms of leadership with this team? Yeah, um, you know, obviously I think we, we, we may be young, but I think we do have a, a good leadership group. Uh, I think Justin Kloos has done a, a good job as, you know, being one of the, you know, a junior captain and wearing the C and, you know, leading the team. Uh, as for me, you know, I think uh, my role comes in, you know, I got to keep, you know, everybody accountable and I got to try to uh, set an example by, you know, working as hard as I can, you know, every day. I think that's one of the things we really tried to focus on this year is, you know, just coming to the rink every day with a, with a good attitude, you know, trying to be positive. Uh, and just working as hard as you can. You know, some days you may not, you know, have, you know, your A game, but, you know, you got to find ways to, you know, still contribute to the team, even if it is just, a, you know, a Tuesday practice or something like that. As you head to Ohio State this weekend, you guys find yourselves right around 20th in the pairwise rankings. I know you cannot control what other teams do. You can only control what you do. So what has to happen over these final eight regular season games for you guys to feel comfortable as you head to St. Paul for the Big Ten tournament? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for, for us as a team, uh, we're trying to focus, you know, obviously on the, you know, the Big Ten rankings are, you know, something we, we really focus on. And, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we can keep it, you know, just between us and Michigan. And uh, if we can do that, you know, we, we would feel comfortable, you know, going into playoffs. Um, and so, you know, going down the stretch, if we can, you know, find a way to make sure it's just us two at the end, 
and you know make sure we're we're top two. Obviously, we're shooting for you know the win. We want to win the Big Ten with everything we got. But to feel comfortable, I feel like we at least got to be in the top two. Hudson, on a personal note, I've heard you say that your brother Cooper, your sister Mallory, two special needs teenagers, are your quote biggest inspiration. Could you tell me more about what you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I guess uh, my whole life, you know, they've always just been my brother and sister. But you know, sometimes I, I feel like I, I ended up taking all the good genes a little bit. And so I guess uh, what I mean by their inspiration is, you know, I, you know, they don't have a lot of the opportunities, I guess, that you know most people are afforded. And uh, for me, it's just uh, about taking, you know, the opportunities that I was given and, you know, kind of trying to make the most of them, uh, you know, just because, you know, they, they will never have some of those opportunities. And so for me, it's just, you know, doing everything I can uh, to, you know, you know, make them proud in a sense, I guess. Now, you were drafted by the L.A. Kings in 2013. About a year later, you saw those rights traded to the Buffalo Sabres. At this point, how much thought have you put into the next step? Um, you know, it, it's tough. You know, it's a tough situation being here, and you know, you you know, you, you talk to other you know pro teams, and the, you know they're around, but you know, you, the focus uh, you know mainly has to lie you know here, and you know that's what I've been trying to do is make sure that the you know the focus stays with this team. Uh, you know, we we've got a good team, you know, uh, to work with here, and you know we've been we've been playing well, honestly. You know, we haven't necessarily won all the games we've wanted to, but uh, I feel like we've been playing well, and I've been trying to you know really keep the focus here and keep the focus on. You know, just my game and, you know, and enjoying, the, enjoying the process of, you know, playing here and, you know, being a part of the, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Hudson Fashing from the Minnesota hockey team. Hudson, truly appreciate the time. You're a great representative, not just of the University of Minnesota, but college hockey as well. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.